Probe setup and calibration is a very important factor in achieving accurate and reliable results. In this tutorial, we will create a probe head and stylus for a CNC CMM, as well as a machine tool when using on-machine verification. We'll also show you how to change the probe when using a manual device and ensure it is calibrated accurately to get the very best results. On screen, we already have a model imported and I can see that I require a different probe diameter in order to inspect all the geometric features on this part. Based on previous inspections, I know that this geometric feature is smaller in diameter and thus needs a smaller probe. We need to not only create a smaller probe, but also make sure it is calibrated accurately. Probe creation for CNC CMMs and machine tools in PowerInspect is done by navigating to the machine tab and selecting the correct probe head from the extensive list available. Now I need to add the relevant probe sub-assemblies to match the physical probe hardware I currently have on my machine. To do this, on the probe menu click New and specify the module, any extensions and stylus so that my current simulator hardware matches that hardware used on the machine. Probe calibration on CMMs and manual devices as well as machine tools can be done in a multitude of different ways. This can be done from within PowerInspect or can be done directly in the protocol if doing calibration independently. This is usually the case when using the I++ protocol on that of CMMs. Calibration for CMMs in PowerInspect is done using the simple probe calibration wizard. This process ensures all necessary probe angles are calibrated before the inspection is carried out. Probe calibration for machine tools can either be done on the controller or from within PowerInspect. It should be noted that most controller calibration cycles are performed using two-dimensional calibration. However, PowerInspect's PI Calibrate add-in utilizes three-dimensional calibration to ensure the results are more accurate for three-dimensional multi-axis measurements. When it comes to manual measuring, firstly, make sure that the correct protocol is selected, then navigate to the Tools tab and select the correct probe or laser scanner required. I can then go ahead and change this physically on the device as well. Please refer to either the help menu located inside PowerInspect, the Autodesk Knowledge Network or other tutorials for further guidance.